Okay, now that we've done the basic setup, we're going to go into some of the tabs. So, um, of course, here is your position, your swash mix, your receiver, your flight style. I actually like this a lot, how it's set, but you can adjust it after you start flying. Uh, the more you give it, the more smooth and fluid it feels. The less you give it, the more uh, robotic. Diagnostic tabs. Um, this is spectrum analyzer is where you're going to go to see your vibrations. Uh, what you want to do is take all your blades off and spool it up, see how your vibrations are doing. Your log viewer, uh, if there is something, you can pull this up. Uh, um, sometimes you get weird errors and you're constantly unplugging and plugging it back in. Uh, I don't worry too much about it. Now, if it's during a flight and you get power voltages low or lost, uh, receiver lost connection or something, then you have a problem. Uh, your servos, nothing, uh, I can buzz this stuff. Um, the big thing here that we haven't seen already is your servo travel correction. So this is where you're going to go if you need to change your minimum maximum limits for your servo throws. Limits range, this should look very familiar from the setup tab. And here's your cyclic ring, collective pitch, positive and negative, maximum, your rudder endpoints. Okay, your sensor, here's your cyclic gain uh, adjustments and your common rudder gain multiplication. This is not where you set your common rudder gain, this is to multiply what you're putting into your transmitter. Um, for your smaller helicopters, like your 450s, your 500s, you're probably not going to need this. When you start getting 550s, 600s, 700s, you're going to need this because you need a higher gain and your your uh, gyro channel is going to max out at 100. Um, I believe for my 600s it's recommended to be 1.3 times and then I can use my transmitter for the rest. Again, this is to make sure everything is going in the right direction. Always do your final checks after everything's set up make sure your swash is compensating in the right directions and your tail is working properly as well.